Welcome back viewers. How do we determine the diameter of the small semicircle? Now here the small semicircle is the blue region. Now the best way to determine this diameter of the small semicircle is to make this figure a complete, a complete circle by flipping it vertically and we'll have, so if we flip it, we'll have the figure will now be a complete circle. Let us label these points at the circumference to be A, B, and this to be X, to be X, Y. Now this figure is a completing circle and you can see A, B is a chord and X, Y is a chord and they are, they, are, they are intersecting at the center of the smaller of the smaller circle. So if we let the center of the smaller circle to be O and the radius of the smaller circle to be R, meaning this length will be R, here will be R, that will be R, that will be R. So what is the relationship between intersecting chords? Meaning the distance from A to O times the distance from O to B will be equals to from A to O times from O to B will be equal to the distance from X to O times O to O to Y. X to O times O to Y. That is the relationship between two intersecting chords. You can see the two chords are intersecting at point O. Point O is in the middle in each case. So let us substitute the values. So here AO from A to O is 18 plus R. So that is going to be 18 plus R. Then it is times from O to B. From O to B is R plus 4. That is R plus 4 to be equals to from X to O. Now from X to O is 10 plus R. That is 10 plus R. Then it is times from O to Y. From O to Y is R plus 10, which is still the same as 10 plus 10 plus R. Now, what do we now have here? 18 plus R times R plus 4. So 18 plus R times R plus 4, you'll get 18 times R will be 18 R, then 18 times 4, that will be 72, then plus R times R will be R squared, then R times 4 will be plus 4 R to be equals to 10 plus R times 10 plus R is like 10 plus R squared. So that will give you 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times R is plus 10 R. R times 10 is again plus 10 R. Then positive R times positive R is plus R squared. You can see R squared is common on either side of the equation. So R squared will cancel with R squared. So what do we remain with? On this side we have 18R plus 4R is 22R then plus plus 72 to be equals to this is 100 10R plus 10R that is going to be plus 20 plus 20R. So if you collect the like terms plus 20R coming this side, you will have 22R minus 20R to be equals to 100 plus 72 going on the other side is going to be minus minus 72. So 22R minus 20R is going to be 2R to be equals to 100 minus 72 is going to be 28. So remember, you are told to determine the diameter of the small of the smaller sub. And remember the diameter is 2, 2R. Two so that implies that the diameter of the smaller circle is 20, 28 because diameter is 2R. And we found 2R is 28. So the diameter of the smaller circle is 28. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the simplest means to determine the diameter of the smaller circle is by of the smaller semicircle is by making it a complete circle so that you can use the concept of intersecting course. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next video.